8,030 pounds, Cougar 27 SJS, fifth wheel landing here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Full time RV warranty. Cougar is actually the most decorated series of fifth wheels ever in the history of mankind. This thing is great, uh, you know, pass through storage for a smaller class fifth wheel. And again, that full time RV warranty, hot cold climate package, all sorts of good news going on with this one. And a beautifully open opposing slide rear living room and something that's not 40 feet long. Now I know one of the things you all love about Uncle Josh, the Halet RV Nerds RV Tours, is that I like to show these things with the slides closed, even when it's not seemingly attractive to the RV. We give you straight info. And you look at this and you say, uh, slides closed, it wraps around that peninsula, can't really get too much. However, here's the thing. Here's why I don't think it's as big of a deal as a lot of people make it out to be. This RV has in command. I can sync this RV to my phone, and it's a 12-volt operated system, so it does operate while you're in transit. Well, um, by the if, if I'm parked at like a rest stop or something, by the time I grab my phone and uh, basically sitting in the driver or passenger seat of the vehicle, by the time I get unbuckled, grab my phone out of my pocket, I can start opening up this slide out on my way back to the RV. Now I'm doing this in real time right now. This is not speed enhanced footage. I've done some of that in the past just to help you see the slides open and close. I'm not doing that here. That's part of why I'm kind of talking. It's sort of filler time, guys. One of the reasons I'm doing this is that a cable slide system allows you to leave the slide halfway open or closed. So you don't need all of the room in the world at your destination. You only need just enough to crack the slide and then we can get in. And if you have to do the same thing over there, if you need to just nudge the kitchen slide a little bit that much that's all it takes and remember the in-command system is going to be up and running that's all it takes to get to the fridge and then when i'm done all i got to do is hit the buttons again on my walk back to my vehicle i don't even have to stand in the rv i can be walking back to the vehicle closing the slides and then you just check your mirrors before you leave make sure the slides are closed that's all there is to it so is it travel accessible I don't know. I guess you be the judge. Originally the 28 SGS and now the 27 SGS, only real difference is they just adjusted the kitchen to give it some more prep space that this floor plan frankly needed. Um, this has been a staple of the RV industry for a while. At one time, the Cougar 27 SGS predecessor to this was literally the single best selling fifth wheel in the United States. Um, or North America actually goes beyond the United States and since then everybody and their brother started jumping on that bandwagon and this layout still is very commonly produced in the business today and for good reason. Like I said it keeps it on the shorter side of things compared to some of the other triple slides out there. It's a very space efficient design and uh, Cougar has done a very good job of it and it's not surprising considering they have the most experience with it. So what are we looking at here? Now you'll notice as we go through, I'll probably apologize for it a few times because I'm a compulsive apologizer, if that makes sense. The nice um, kind of wooden plantation blinds. But what's cool is they work like metal mini blinds, but they're way, way easier to clean. Well, they, they twist like metal mini blinds, but they go up and down like pleated cloth shades. They're this really kind of interesting sort of in-betweener. And storage above the seating, take note of that. Take serious note of that. Above the rear chairs and above the sofa, so many RV manufacturers have stopped building storage above seating areas with the idea of, oh, it'll look bigger. Sure, but where are you going to keep your stuff? And again, maybe just that experience in a Cougar goes a little bit further. What's nice here is this is a couple's camper, and uh, it still has a nice guest capacity because that sofa over there, if we take a look, you can see is a nice trifold sleeper sofa. So if we do have a guest, either a little one, or a big one, I suppose, or a big pair, because my wife and I have actually spent a weekend on one of those together, successfully, stayed married, so I think that passes. <laughs> it, it works. Now, what's also kind of cool, this has classic rear recliners, and you don't see this very much anymore, and it allows this floor plan to do something most just can't, rear sofa models can't do what I'm about to show you. Because this seating arrangement, which isn't found very often in the RV industry more, allows for some interesting seating solutions. So if you're parked like by a lake or you have basically if you have cool scenic views at your site, there's nothing stopping you from flipping these chairs around, 
grabbing your favorite drink, sitting next to the person that you enjoy spending the most time with, and taking a peek out the back side here. And again, you know, you have good wraparound viewing windows all over the place, and it just creates some unique opportunities. Now, your side stands over here, you can see, have household and USB plugs on both sides. It's actually a really interesting thing about Cougar's construction. They have a laminated, you know, wall on top of a non-laminated wall. Their, their rear wall is actually essentially like double constructed so that you can walk up and feel good thumping on it from the outside, but they can still run wiring on it from the inside. Different, but cool. Although this is the odds on favorite and how you're probably going to have this one arranged most of the time. These nice pushback recliners though do allow you some options there or you can just pull them right out of the way if you need place for like a dog bed. I guess that actually worked really well. Now next to that we have our dining setup and again everything's surrounded by windows. I just unfortunately have to have the shades drawn because the sunshine is not a digital camera's friend. But one of the things that I kind of thought about and I've never displayed one like this before is at the end of the day this is primarily a couple's use rv so most of the time you don't need all those chairs and thankfully this rv has a large enough pass-through compartment where you can just leave two of the chairs out of here most of the time unless you have a guest or there's nothing that says you even have to bring those chairs you could just leave them at home in the garage in the basement in the whatever I've seen people keep two of the chairs out of the rv until the point that they actually traded in 10 12 years later I don't expect this actually to be a floor plan that is much different than that. Um, now, uh, if you take a look at, like I said, if you notice, there's plenty of room in that pass-through compartment. I, I captured a quick little glance with those two other chairs in the pass-through, and I didn't even shove them all the way to the other side. I left them in the middle, so you get a very realistic idea of the fact that you can leave them in there and still have plenty of storage capacity. Now, the entertainment on this is easy to see. This is not a neck wrecker entertainment center because that big 4K massive, like 40 inch HD TV, you can see pivots right out. You want to face dead toward the recliners or the uh, uh, basically the entire rear wall or the sofa or the kitchen. Like if you want to put the two dining chairs both on the right hand side of the table as we're looking at it, so that even when you're sitting there grabbing a bite to eat, sitting next to one another, well, you know, you still have a good shot at what's going on. Electric space heating fireplace right below that, and those things do a wonderful job of taking the nip out of the air, um, you know, so that you don't have to constantly uh, run the furnace. If it's just spring or fall, you th those, those electric fireplaces do an amazing job. Now, what's also nice is, like I said, the biggest difference between the previous 27 SGS and this 28 SGS is what they did in the kitchen. They uh, gave it this nice peninsula, and it gave it so much counter space. You see that high-rise sprayer faucet looking good. You've got uh, easy-reach power outlets. You can see there's a, a set down here below the countertop line. Then there's another set back up there, so an like easy coffee maker corner. Um, stainless sink recessed down into a sealed edge press membrane countertop, so you don't got to worry about water wrecking countertops over time. And then we start digging into all the storage here, which is surprisingly adequate considering what looks to be a small kitchen. And it begins right here with a pair of handy big kitchen drawers, excellent size for like larger spatulas and tongs, and that is a larger 22 inch oven, by the way. Little details like that, extra drawers, slightly larger oven. That's the stuff that adds up the pennies and dollars and cents that helps kind of, you know, determine the price points between trailer A and trailer B because a lot of them are very similar on the main features, but it's those fine details that help separate brands like Cougar. But we've really only scratched the surface. You see down here there's a big space, whether it's dish soap or larger pots, pans, bacon sheets, and more drawers. There's five of those plywood full extension drawers right there where they're easily accessible. And above our coffee bar or entry bureau or whatever you want to call it, there's almost like an elevated floating pantry that shelf in the middle doubling the potential storage space we get in that pocket screwed lumber core cabinetry with a nice open space above if you want to do some decorating they kind of leave some nice open opportunities there but wait there's more as they say in the infomercials of course if i'm going to do that i need to put on my real cheesy voice but wait there's more just pay shipping and processing there we go i think that works a little bit of one of my original rv nerdisms here at halo rv the pantry tainment center some storage behind the tv uh whipping our way forward here up the steps you will find the uh primary control panel for the in command system now what's nice is anything you can do on this thing right here you can do on your phone so lights slides awnings 
checking my black tanks, checking how much battery power I have in reserve. Very handy if you're dry camping. Um, also, heating and cooling. So, if you are sitting back here and it's just too darn hot because the, the sun coming through those shades is, is cooking you and, you and you don't want to pull the shades down. You want, the, you want to see that sunshine and the scenery. Well, you don't even got to get up. Or if you're in bed and you're too hot or cold, you can grab your phone and turn your temperature up down. You can turn your lights off and on, but you don't just have to use this digital control panel. What is nice is back here on this rear wall, there is a light switch for our main living room cabin lights, and you will see a similar switch in the bedroom for just the bedroom lights. So you still have switches for like your main everyday stuff. By the way, I get this question all the time. That's a thermal probe. That's what talks to this and says, hey, here's what temperature it is. The bathroom here remains unchanged, and that is an excellent, excellent thing. Plenty of leg room in front of that porcelain foot flush stool. Good linen space over here in a nicely sized shower that is very easy to enter. And I like how they went with a, uh, a pattern print on the surround paneling to give us a clear door on the shower. It makes this room look and feel much larger, far less claustrophobic. A seat there in case you need to sit to bathe, shave legs, anything like that. And even here in the bathroom, we have sealed edge countertops so that splashing water doesn't damage anything. And that is a nicely sized medicine cabinet right there. As we work our way into the bedroom, there's something I always like to point out. And it's really a keystone thing, not just a cougar thing. And that is the thicker interior walls. It's one of the reasons, like, I, I can find you a lighter weight fifth wheel than a cougar out there. Cougars are not the heaviest by any stretch. And part of that is because they have more studding inside of the structure. It's not just all the shell. Now these are 50 amp standard. So if you are interested in a second air conditioner, like you see that this one in this video does not happen to have the second air conditioner. However, that is not to say that we may not at any given point have one of these in stock at Halid RV with a second air conditioner. It just depends on what we can get our hands on and how quickly sometimes we can get our hands on it, especially if inventory is limited. Huge window over here. Really sets the tone in this bedroom. Makes it not feel quite so small and stuffy. Have a nice wide open side stand. Super CPAP friendly with household and USB plugs on both sides. And I actually kind of like that second elevated shelf back there. So you have like, you know, a dedicated almost like phone place in a, in a sense. This is a 60 by 80 queen bed, by the way. So it's not a short camp queen. And if you notice, this is something they did about September of 2019. There's virtually no step up around the bed anymore. And me at six foot three, standing at the foot of the bed, I am not even coming close. It's six and a half foot tall in the upper deck until it begins to taper. But by the time it begins to taper, you're already climbing in bed. So I don't think it's really that much of an issue. Then over here, there's no window on the side, but you do have a vent above the bed for airflow and you have all these mirrors to reflect more light around. And then if we take another look, you see that there's storage wrapped all the way around the bed from the uh, you know dual open bottom uh, compartments to the corner elevated side stands or side elevated wardrobe dressers, whatever you want to call it. And then over here in this big wardrobe closet with additional dresser drawers, you have tons of, you know, both long-term and like folded closed storage capacity. And of course, directly across from the bed, you have plenty of room for a flat screen TV. Although here's a pro tip from your uncle Josh here at Halid RV. Make sure that when you're measuring the TV, you have the slide retracted closed. Because if you look, you're like, sweet Martha, look at this thing right here. Martha apparently is the name of both Batman and Superman's mom, which is why they didn't fight in that movie, whatever. Um, you can tell I'm not bitter about it, but <laughs> toxic nerddom. But my point is, you're going to look at this and say, holy crap, we can put a, a, a monster TV up here. Well, you can still put a very good size screen if you're so inclined. Just maybe not as large as the current appearance suggests. We'll always give you that straight info here at Halid RV. I thought I'd start outside with a nice look at the patio shade we're getting from that power awning with LED lighting, which is potentially remote controllable from your phone via that in-command system. And as we work our way past that six and a half foot tall entry door, which is nice, it's a little bit taller than the average bear in this category, although some nice things like eagles do the same thing. We see those more ride stable steps, but then we come over here into an impressively sized pass-through compartment, and you can see that big black box. That is the in-command system that we've been talking about. Now this thing is kind of like my wife. It is the brains of the operation. It is the thing that keeps everything kind of held together and everything goes through that. 
Um, what's kind of nice about this is that there's actually a little switch inside here where let's say you don't want to go inside, you don't want to activate the touch screen to close the awning, you don't want to use your remote control phone option on that. There's still a switch right in here. You can still handle awning jack slides right from outside. Kind of handy. Uh, motion sense lighting, kind of like we saw inside, very handy in a pass-through like this so that you can just leave it on. It will kick on when you open the baggage door. TV hookups and there's switches for your 12-volt tank heating pads because Cougars have been since uh, roughly September of 2018 uh, 0 to 110 degree rated. They're actually an excellent hot climate camper, not just cold climate camper. And that's something we don't talk about a lot in the RV industry is hot weather camping, which is ironically how more people use their RVs. Um, the uh, cool thing on a Cougar too, they kind of took this note, I think, from their sister Montana. They're not just rear camera prepped, they're also side camera prepped. Now we have that kind of hardware and equipment available for you here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. If that's something you're interested, give us a shout. Common question I was getting last year is, where's the spare tire? What, Cougars don't come with spare tires? And it's just nicely tucked away inside a large front compartment. And uh, what's kind of cool is it keeps it out of the sun. It's easier to access, God forbid you do need it. There's also double battery hookups up there, which is kind of nice. Um, above that shock dampening uh, pin box system, because this is not like a conventional crappy pin box, if you take a look at it, our nice uh, Road Armor Trail Air system right here. I say crappy, I guess that's harsh, but it's an enhanced pin box. Maybe that's a better uh, way of saying it. But, uh, you know, this will help take some shocks and jolts out of the transit uh, portion of your uh, RV experience. And then to help you get hitched up in case like you have a tonneau cover, that little reflective panel right there will do wonders for you just to help eyeball things a little bit if you don't have a spotter available. Um, the uh, nose cap lighting on Cougars is also um, orange in color so that it's DOT compliant in case you happen to leave it on when you're going down the road kind of handy thing. Automatic leveling is standard on all Cougar trailers, well, well, fifth wheels, and then all but one of their travel trailers. And the only one where it's not standard is just because it's so darn small, and they still have power jacks there. So everything on this is always as simple and easy as it can get. Enclosed, heated, protected, docking center. And uh, over here you see something else that's really cool. Right above the uh, automatic leveling controls, a couple things. This is solar and inverter ready. There are solar hookups on the roof if you're so inclined. There is a side mount solar prep plug available in here if you're so inclined, but also this RV, remember, is pre-wired for inverters um, and you would it could give you live outlets in the bedroom, in the kitchen, and uh, the main TV area. So very, very handy. Now again, we are enclosed, we are forced air heated, we are insulated, we have 12 volt tank heated pads. Cougars are proven hot, cold climate campers and that's part of where their full-time RV warranty comes from. Something that was kind of a, originally the tone was set by the Eagle HT series of fifth wheels that you might find here at Halitz is the uh, towing hitch on the back of this. Not just an accessory hitch. Cougar has kind of stepped up a little bit. It has a 3,000 pound tow rating. It has tow safety hooks for your you know safety chains. And there is a four-way wiring harness plug down there. So if you're looking to do some recreational doubles towing, like a little flat bottom boat or something like that, this is a fifth wheel that's capable of doing that without sacrificing factory warranty. And you can see the wiring right there. So you don't even have to rewire anything and worry about that. Um, speaking of wiring, our taillights are wired to also have um, backup lighting uh, actuators in them. So if you do have to uh, you know, shift in reverse, that will light right up and give somebody a good idea behind you of what your intentions are. Very handy if you're ever at a gas station and you know someone just, some people don't understand RV towing and they get a little too close to you. It lets them know, hey buddy, I'm backing up. You better move. And a few quick things up here on the roof. You see that black plug right there? That is our roof solar prep and then again, the stark polar white roof membrane that you've seen uh, Cougar shift to. When they went to their white exterior from the previous generation brown exterior, um, they, they got very, very serious about being a good uh, heat shedding hot climate camper. Like Cougar's excellent in really hot climates like Arizona, Texas, California, Florida, places like that. But as you can see here, we have a variety of options and they all have they're high points. That's what's kind of cool about RVs. They're all the best in a different way. I say that all the time. I, I do truly believe that. So give us a call because here at Halet RV, basically, we do it all. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy Halet camping, everyone.